Walker County Sheriff's Office has expanded their aviation division with three helicopters and pilots to fly them. ABC 3340's Kira Purvis joins us now. And the Sheriff's Office are usually looking to cut costs. Where are they finding the money for this program? Stephen, according to the Sheriff's Office, they've add, added $3 million worth of equipment. These helicopters have costed the county nothing. Now, these helicopters are said to be military surplus, and the cost to obtain these is going to be paid through donations. It was kind of like a dream for some of us that's always been involved and needed it. The dream began over two years ago when Sergeant Ray Capps applied for the 1033 military surplus program. Another aspect of the Sheriff's Department that, you know, that he, he's using and being beneficial to his department. And like I said, I, I feel like we need to support him in all the things that he does. This program allows the Department of Defense to give local agencies military hardware at a discounted price. I got an email one day that said that we'd been awarded three aircraft. They were in Fort, Fort Louisiana and we had 14 days to go get them. This took an 800,000 piece of war material down to $3,000. The money comes from the community through the Walker County Law Enforcement Foundation. Just about every dime that's been put into it has been donated by people in the community. Two of the three helicopters were labeled active on August 7th. After already seeing the benefits of the aircraft, the agency says they are now confident in their ability to protect and serve their county along with surrounding areas. All sheriff's departments in Alabama have a mutual aid agreement. We will be available to anybody that we can help anytime we can help them. And the sheriff's office expects these helicopters to last them four to five years. With the help of other local agencies across the country, they hope to continue expanding their aviation program. Live in Walker County, Kyra Purvis, ABC 3340 News.